All right, so this is the first goal of the game, courtesy by LA Galaxy's Tyler Boyd. Uh, we're going to see a goal kick here from LA Galaxy. Jonathan Klinsman passing out of the back here. Highlighted on your screen is Matt Real, the union's left back. Look how far forward he is pushed to try to win this ball back off of Douglas Costa. And we see this all the time with the union's press. Within five seconds, the union are right there trying to turn a team over in their own half. And that's where the union feel like they're at their best, causing chaos in the opposition's own half of the field. And Matt Riel obviously doesn't win the ball back here. Jose Martinez is circled on your screen, kind of caught in no man land. And so we're going to see Costa find Ricky Poosh here. Highlight on your screen is Tyler Boyd, the goal scorer. And, and because Matt Real left his left back position, just look at all the space on the left hand side of the field that Marky Delgado has to run into. And after Jose Martinez was caught in no man's land, he's going to go sprint full speed and try to win this ball back off of Ricky Poosh. But he's able to just shield Jose off and make the simple pass here because all that space is here. And Matt Real has to do a better job closing that down. First time finish. Goal by Tyler Boyd. And it's just bad goalkeeping from Joe Bendick. He knows it. But overall, just a bad play from the Union. 17 seconds it took LA Galaxy to score this goal. Look at this. Pass, turn, pass, turn. Jose Martinez out of no man's land. Sprinting, sprint, sprint. Where's Matt Real? Still not in the picture. He's still walking. You've got to be there to close down this. Jack Elliott, Glesnes both go for Judd. Nobody picks up Tyler Boyd. And by the time that they realize the ball's behind them, they're too late to react. This is a good cross into the box by Delgado, but just poor all around. Yes, the blame's going to be on Joe Bendick, but there's multiple players here on the field that could have and should have done better. And like Jim Curtin said in his post-game press conference, we're not going to single out one player. It's on all 11 players, and there's multiple errors on this play. But of course, Joe Bendick has to do better on this. Andre Blake would have saved this, but 1-0 Galaxy. All right, so this is goal two of the game. The Union's only goal of the night, courtesy of Mikel Ua. And watch the Union. They're just going to play out of the back, and it only takes four passes from the Union to get from their own half into Galaxy's half. And you see just no pressure from the front line of Galaxy. We're going to see a line-splitting pass right here by Jack Elliott because... Nobody's putting pressure on either one of the center backs. So Jack Elliott can find Leon Flock here easily. Leon Flock's going to find Daniel Gazdag. And you're going to get another line splitting pass here by the Union. This ball from Daniel over the whole midfield. They're all completely taken out of the play. Four passes, like I said, from your own defensive half now into the defensive half of LA Galaxy. A quick throw in here by the Union. And the Union are just going to go ahead and take their time. They're not going to force anything. Galaxy do a good job forcing the Union to reset. But look at this. All this space that Jacob Glesnes has to occupy. You have Ricky Pooch who needs to attack that space. This is his guy. And because he doesn't follow Jacob Glesnes and attack that space, it allows Jacob Glesnes to go ahead and Take this shot. Bad defending there by Mavinga to turn his back. I talked about that on the podcast. As a center back, you're facing the ball. Why? Why are you turning the back to the ball? Good positioning by Mikael Ua to be in the right place at the right time and has an easy tap in here for the Union's only goal of the night. But we're going to see here in a second. Got to see the celebrations. Look, just poor. Nobody picks up Jacob Glesnes. Ricky Pooch has to, has to challenge Jacob Glesnes. And Glesnes realizes it. He's like, all right, nobody's going to pick me up. I'm going to shoot. And his shot takes a deflection. And it, it falls to me, Kao Ua. And Jim Curtin talks about creating your own luck all the time. And uh, this is one of those plays where nothing was really going for the Union in the first half. They get an opportunity here with Jacob Glesnes to strike a ball. Deflects off of a defender. Falls to Mikel. All right, so this is the third goal of the night. 
LA Galaxy's second of the game. This goal scored right before the half, and this one comes courtesy of an own goal by Olivier Baizo. And just like the first goal that the Union conceded, again, this is poor defending, and a lot of the blame's going to be on Joe Bendick. But look at how the Union line up here on this corner kick. You have three players playing zonal, and Julian Carranza, Jacob Glesnes, and Jack Elliott. You have two players for the Union playing man marking, and Matt Real and Ale Bedoya. And then in that beautiful light blue circle, you just have a huge cluster in front of Joe Bendick. And that's exactly where the ball is going to land. It's going to be an in-swinging ball by Douglas Costa. But a lot of traffic is what LA Galaxy wanted to create. They wanted to create chaos. And Joe Bendick flails his arms at this ball. Nobody in that cluster from the Union gets up and tries to put a head on this ball. It's really bad defending here by the Union. And yes, a lot of the blame should be on Joe Bendick. As a goalkeeper, how you don't come to claim this ball, I'm not quite sure because we see it all the time in soccer when a goalie comes to punch a ball or whatever and he misses the ball and gets knocked down by the opposition. The referee is blowing his whistle, giving it as a foul. You can see... Joe Bendick just flails his arms. Not great defending by Mikel Uwe here. A little bit unfortunate that it comes off of Baizu's backside, but that whole cluster right there, just piss poor defending and 2-1 Galaxy and gets worse. Right, so this is the fourth and final goal of the evening. This was Galaxy's third goal on the night. This one came courtesy by Ricky Pouge. And if you guys listen to the podcast... This was the final nail in the coffin why I decided to give Blender of the Week to MLS Season Pass slash Apple because we completely missed this goal. We got to see the goal from different camera angles, but we didn't get to see the build-up play. And this wasn't the only time on the night that their feed was acting up. And not only was this not the only game of the night, it, it also happened in the LAFC game. And so, not a good night overall by MLS Season Pass and Apple. But, nonetheless, we see Yervilich take the ball off of Jose Martinez's foot, frying Ricky Pouge, and we see Jack Elliott do a good job containing him, slowing him down. Nate Harriel's caught too high up the field, just trying to track back, and Galaxy do a good job moving this ball side to side. Great hit there by Ricky Pouge, and uh, where Jacob Glesnes is right there. Jose Martinez should have been that player. But he gets caught on the right side of the field. Gets the ball taken off his foot by Yervilic again. Didn't see the build-up play to this. Didn't see how the Union got Jose Martinez on the ball. But all we know is Yervilic took the ball off of Jose Martinez's foot. And because this play is just so short, we're going to go ahead and rewatch the whole thing once again. Yervilic takes the ball off of Jose's foot. Jacob Glesnes is pushed up high in the field. So I guess the Union were just pushing for that goal. We see Nate Harrell also high up the field, and uh, the Union do a good job trying to get back, but this is a fantastic finish by Ricky Pouge. This goal had an XG of 5.4%. Ricky Pouge is a player that doesn't score often, has three goals all season long. His two goals prior to this were inside the 18, and he scores one outside the box here. Fantastic finish, and I saw some people saying Andre Blake would have saved this. I'm not quite sure about that, but regardless, 3-1 Galaxy.